Very good morning to you, my brethren. It's my joy to have you join me with Breakthrough Prayers for Success in Life and in Business this wonderful Monday morning. Uh, it happens to be our 20, our 48th week of this online prayers. And this morning, as I welcome you, I want you to know, particularly for those who are joining us for the very first time, that this uh, prayer platform goes live every Monday morning time is 6.30 to 7 a.m. West African time. This is a platform for prayers, but it is a platform for powerful Holy Spirit inspired prayers only. And these kind of prayers produces the desired success in life and in business and the success that you deserve because you work so hard. And that's what's going to happen this morning. Romans 8.26a prompts us to pray inspired prayers. The New Living Translation says, and the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for. And so we lean on the Holy Spirit and he guides us into the prayers that are most important. But the morning starts with a blessing and a lot of people don't know that. What Psalm 127 verse two, the contemporary English version says it. He said, it is useless to get up early and to stay up late in the night in order to earn a living. And God takes care of his own even while they sleep. It is useless to get up early and to stay up late in order to earn a living. For God takes care of his own while they sleep. The Good News Translation puts it a little differently. It says it is useless to work so hard for a living, getting up early and going to bed late. For the Lord provides for those he loves while they sleep. Hallelujah. And so my response is, we, we, I mean, you and I and all of us on this platform, we are waking on to divine provision. Uh, say amen to that. And we so consciously download them this day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And therefore, we cannot and will never have to be strugglers or hustlers in life because we're well provided for by our Heavenly Father. It is therefore going to be a very blessed day, say amen, and also a very rewarding week, say amen and amen. And this blessed day and rewarding week will be for you, for me, for all of us, to the glory of God, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. What a beautiful way to awaken onto the day with the confidence, knowing that we have a father who doesn't slack on his taking care of his children. We're so blessed to be children of God. I wish the whole world knew that and they will join us in the family of God. Now, I am going to give you an instruction in Psalm 107, verse 22, be the new century version of the Bible. And that says, with joy, they should tell what God has done. With joy, we should always rush to tell people how good God has been to us, talking about testimonies and how God has done us well. And so I'm gonna ask you to do that this morning by posting your testimonies from whatever uh, breakthrough prayers we have, you joined us for and post them in the chat section of this um, live transmission so that others can read it and be and be inspired and God can see that you are not hiding which is goodness in your life. You're advertising God by telling the whole world how good he has been to you. And as you do that, guess what will happen? The testimonies will not be stagnant, they'll be incremental permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I know you have a testimony. I know you're doing that. And also another instruction you have to um, activate right now is to like and to share this Zoom transmission immediately. The world is advertising a lot of rubbish that the world doesn't need. And we that we have the good news, we're, we're so shy. I don't know what it is. 
And all you have to do is hit on the uh, share button, like make a comment and the world will get to know through you and the reward will come to you from God himself. And so I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I can't wait to get into the prayer this morning because prayer, this prayer here, are business prayers that work wonders and you will not be left out in Jesus' name. Say amen. Amen. Now, the scriptural foundation for this uh, prayer platform is found in Job 22, verses 27 to 28, the New Living Translation. You know what it says? It says, you will pray to him and he will hear you. Say amen. You will pray to him and he will hear you and you will fulfill your vows. Remember that? Verse 28 says, you will succeed in whatever you choose to do and the light will shine on the road ahead of you. Amen and amen and amen. And so we're praying to him. He will hear us this morning. And as we pray, you know what that scripture says? We will succeed in whatever we do and the light of God will shine on the road ahead of us so that we'll always be guided, no stumbling in life, amen and amen. Now, you know what I normally do, I kind of push back a little bit to last week and then we kind of reemphasize the prayers and reinforce the prayers. And last week, we're looking at Deuteronomy 30, verses eight to nine A from the Message Bible. And I read, it says, and you will make a new start, listening obediently to God keeping all his commandments that I'm commanding you today, verse 9, God, your God, will outdo himself in making things go well for you, and you will enjoy an all-round good life. Come on, say amen. Amen, I like that. It says, God, your God, will outdo himself in making things go well for you, and you will enjoy all-round good life. Amen and amen. But the proviso, the instruction comes in verse 8. It says, and you will make a new start. A new start listening obediently to God, doing what he said. And the result is that you know, God will outdo himself in making things go well for you. And you will enjoy an all-round good life. I want you to say after me. I say, Father, as I listen to you obediently, in this second half of the year, make things go well for me. Father, please make things go well for me as I listen obediently to you in this second half of the year. Make things go well for me at work. Make things go well for me at home. Make things go well for me financially and materially. Make things go well for me spiritually and physically in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I, I, like, I like the second part of the, the, the blessing. Verse 9 says, God, your God, will outdo himself in making things go well for you, and you will enjoy. I like that. You will enjoy all around good life. Now, as we listen to God obediently and we obey him, uh, we will begin to enjoy an all around good life, you and I, in Jesus' name. We'll begin to enjoy, not enjoy life, enjoy an all around good life. Any which way you look at it, at home, at work, abroad, whatever you do, an all-round good life, that will be your portion in the name of the Lord Jesus. Say after me, it is settled, amen, settled. Say again, settled, amen, settled. That we will be enjoying an all-round good life in Jesus' name, amen, settled, amen. Hallelujah. I like that, I like that. We'll move on to Deuteronomy. Um, uh, the common English Bible, the same Deuteronomy 8, verse 9a, it says, but you will change and obey the Lord's voice. You will change. There are things we need to change and obey the Lord's voice. We can't be driven by only what we like. We, we can't let our emotion determine what we do. It says you will change and obey the Lord's voice that I'm commanding you, verse 9 says, and the Lord your God will help you succeed in everything you do. The Lord your God will help you to succeed in everything you do. Everything will be great. Say amen. And now I want you to join me in prayer. Lift up your hand to God and say, yes, Father. Yes, yes, Father. If this is what I'm going to get, that you will help me succeed in everything I do and everything will be great about my life, I am ready to change for better. 
Tell the Lord, yes, Lord, I am ready to change for better. I will change so that you will help me succeed in everything I am doing, so that you will help me succeed in everything I still plan to do in this second half of the year. Let it be so, Father, in the name of Jesus. And so, my brethren, everything about our finances and our life will be great in Jesus' name. But the Bible says when you do this, when you change, the Lord will help you succeed in everything you do. Everything will be great. And so everything about my life and everything about my finances will be great to the glory of God in Jesus' name. And so will it be for you too in Jesus' name. Now say settled. Amen. Settled. Say it again. Settled. Amen. Settled. Hallelujah. That means we're not going back on that one. It's a done deal. Glory to God. Now we want to go on to this week. This week holds great blessings for you and I. And this week we're going to be taking our prayer text from Psalm 68 verse 19. Remember these are inspired prayers. They're not just prayer points. It's just inspired prayers. So Psalm 68 verse 19 says, Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation, Selah. <laughs> Selah, which means get it now. <laughs> Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation. Let me talk to you about benefits. Benefit is not your pay. Benefit is something extra to the ordinary, to the normal. It's on top of that. And the Bible says he daily loads us with benefits, extras, because of the God of our salvation. Now, the God who daily loads us with benefits, may you begin to experience that side of God in Jesus' name. Put your hand on there and say, Lord, may I begin to experience this side of Jehovah God from today in the name of Jesus Christ. Some people don't know that side exists. Some people will never enjoy it. They will just go with the normal, with the average, with only their pay. But there's the God side that loads some people daily with benefits and the extras on top of the norm and the normal. May you and I begin to experience this side of God on a daily basis. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Now we're going to continue praying. <laughs> Ah, may you begin to enjoy his word. These benefits from above, they're not just benefits from around, they're benefits from above, but they may be ushered in from people around us. So may we begin to enjoy these benefits from above, above on a daily basis. Amen. I want you to go to God in prayer. Nobody can do this for you. Pray seriously. I say, Lord, may I also begin to enjoy these benefits from above that will come on top of everything normal that everybody's getting, that will set me apart as the beloved of the Lord. May I begin to enjoy these benefits from above on a daily basis for the rest of this year. For the rest, of, I will miss one day's benefits. Lord, let it not be that I will miss even a day's benefit throughout the second half, the better half of this year, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The benefits, the extra, the extra that goes beyond the normal and the norm, ah, beyond the normal results other people are getting. Ah, Lord, may I begin to be, enjoy the daily benefits that takes my life beyond normal, my work beyond normal results, the benefits, the extra superimposed upon our lives on a daily basis. Let no day pass without me downloading the daily benefits, the extra benefits that comes from God, the God of my salvation. Father, let it be so for you. Let it be so for me. Let it be so for all of us in Jesus' mighty name. Let it be settled. Amen. Completely settled, say amen. Amen, settled, amen. Hallelujah. Settled. Bata, bata. No, no shaking. Settled. Settled every day. Awaking onto the benefits from above. You will wake up every day to the benefits from above. 
that comes from the Lord beyond the normal. You have the normal and top it off. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Talking about this thing that the Bible says, Psalm 68 verse 19, blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits. People rush past it and they don't study. There's a lot in this thing. I even checked the Webster's Dictionary. I mean, beyond benefits, meaning extra and beyond the normal and the norm. Benefits beyond being getting results beyond the normal results. Webster's Dictionary surprisingly says benefits means God said. I said, what? The dictionary is now a Christian? God said. Benefits also means blessings. So it means God sent blessings. It says benefits also mean boon, which means a real blow, blowing up. It even says benefits means indulgence, which means God will spoil you and I. Hallelujah. Benefits also means God sent windfalls, largesse, and giveaways. I know you like the giveaways. Nigerians, you like the giveaways. So when the Bible says God daily loads us with benefits, it also means God daily loads us with giveaways, with largesse, with God sent windfalls, and all manner of booms to the point of almost indulgence. Glory to God. I could live like that. Join me in praying. Lift up your hand to the Lord. Lift up your faith. The resolute in your prayer, the effectual fervent on season prayer of a righteous man, avail it not. Say after me, Father, I need you to load my work and my finances with benefits. Father, I need you to load my work and my finances with benefits from above. I need you to load my, 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 my work with financial and material blessings. I need you to load my work with the benefits of financial and material blessings. Uh, I need you to look my work with the benefits of windfalls and giveaways to the point of indulgence uh, in my life, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we need you to load our work and our finances with benefits from above. We need you to load our lives with financial and material benefits and blessings from above. We need you to load our lives with windfalls and divine giveaways to the point of indulgence. Blessed be God who does exceedingly abundantly above what we think of us. Blessed be God who causes all grace to abound towards us that we are always having all sufficiency in all things. We have an abundance for every good word. To this God be glory and praise power and dominion from everlasting to everlasting. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. And that's the point. You need to say, Lord, I love you. I like that song. Say, I love you, Lord. That's song, the goodness of God for the things that you do, for your mercy and your kindness and your goodness to me in the land of the living. I love you, Lord. Thank you. You are the God that loads us daily with benefits to the point of indulgence so that Beyond the norm, the extras come. The boom comes. The God sent windfalls, largesse, and giveaways. So shall every day be marked but in our lives without fail, starting from the second half of this year, all to the glory of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now we're going to press forward in prayers. That's the business of the day. And it takes me to uh, Proverbs 10, verse 22. I'm going to be reading from the New International Version of the Bible. And that reading says, The blessing of the Lord brings wealth, and he adds no trouble to it. The blessings of the Lord brings wealth, and he adds no trouble to it. How nice. And this is the same God that daily loads us with blessings. And the dictionary says that uh, the, the, the daily loads us with benefits. And the dictionary says benefits means blessing. And here again, we see that the blessing of the Lord, this benefits are the same as this blessings. And they don't just come. They bring wealth. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth. The devil is alive. How can we say we're blessed and there's no wealth? Somebody has been diverted something. Arrest that thief in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
As the blessings come upon our life, the wealth will show up without fail in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to get angry in this way. Say, I know I am blessed. The devil is a liar. The blessing of the Lord must bring wealth. I command the thief who have been diverting or stealing the wealth to return that wealth in the name of the Lord Jesus. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth. He doesn't come alone. It's like a man and his shadow. As I receive the blessing, come on now, I receive the wealth. As I receive daily the benefits and the, the, and the blessings of the Lord, I receive the wealth that comes from it. I am not going to say I'm blessed and I have nothing to show for it. The devil is a liar. I'm done with that. By this revelation, uh, I apprehend all the blessings that come with the benefits, the daily benefits, wealth, enrichment. I receive for you. I receive for myself. Blessed be God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The blessings of the Lord must bring wealth to me, must bring wealth to you, must bring wealth to us. It comes as a package. We're not going to just take the, the shell. We're going to collect the substance as well. The blessing comes with We receive that wealth. We receive it today. We receive it, we download it, it must begin to manifest in the name of the Lord God, in financial ways, in material ways, at work, at home, in, in giftings, in blessings, in, in, in all kinds of forms. Lord, let it be so in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the blessing brings wealth. The blessings and the benefits the daily benefits, which means blessings, must bring us wealth. No negotiation, no, no talking about it. It is, it is so, it has to begin to manifest in this second of the year, half of the year, in the name of the Lord Jesus. If I missed any wealth before, that was yesterday, this is now. By revelation and understanding, thank you, Jesus. The blessing of the Lord upon my life. He daily loads me with benefits. And those benefits means blessings. Uh, I, it means a lot of good things must now manifest in wealth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want you to pray. Say, I will not just be blessed. Say that. I will not just be blessed. But God's blessings must bring wealth into my life. I will not just be blessed. But God's blessings must bring wealth into my work. I will not just be blessed. But God's blessing upon my life must bring wealth into my finances. Uh, all to the glory of God. I receive it with thanksgiving. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, say amen and amen. You know, the devil doesn't mind Christians going about saying, I'm blessed. Hallelujah. I, I, when, you, when, I, when I send a text to someone, I say, you're blessed. You, if I say you're blessed, wealth must show up. If you tell me I'm blessed, wealth will, When God tells me he has blessed me, wealth must show up. I am, I am reaching out. I am collecting. I am manifesting the blessing of the Lord in wealthy ways. So will you be in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your neighbors will find out something changed about your life. Your friends will find out something. Your bank manager is going to find out that something changed in your life. Why? Because what used to be a blessing metamorphoses into wealth. Glory to God. Somebody give the Lord a good hand of Baba and worship you. Now, today is the day the Lord has made. I have cause to laugh and to rejoice in this day. It's a day that understanding brings the hair to the blessing into the place of wealth. So shall it be for you, for me, and for all of us. Blessed be God. In Jesus' name, amen. And so we continue praying. And I declare that being that you're already blessed, that your prayer, that the blessing must bring wealth, receives immediate answer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And let the blessing of the Lord begin to produce riches and wealth through your work, through your job, through your business, through your ministry, in whatever you do to the glory of the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, amen and amen. <laughs> I like these two scriptures this morning, Psalm 68 verse 19 says, God daily loads us with benefits. And we found out that even the dictionary says uh, benefits means blessings, means outrageous blessings. Uh, and Proverbs 10 verse 22 says, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth. 
and he adds no trouble to it. So the question is, who they bring this trouble self? That's the point. Where is it coming from? It's not coming from the Lord. It's coming from the other side. And when the Lord says he adds no trouble to it, uh, we come against every satanic agent that imports trouble into our lives. We banish them. We release the fire of the Holy Spirit after them in the name of the Lord. Your, your assignment is not coming from God. You will not prosper in that thing concerning me, my loved ones at home and in church in the name of the Lord. Because the blessings of the Lord brings you up and he adds no trouble. You have no business adding any trouble to the blessings upon our life. No trouble in our health, no trouble in our businesses, no trouble in our families. It, it, from today, it is only the wealth that the blessing brings. No trouble. We reject it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to point your finger at whatever is trying to bring trouble into your life and say no more trouble from you. No more money troubles. No more financial troubles. No more family troubles. No more health troubles. You will not bring it here. Make a U-turn and go back to where you're coming from in the name of as you go, the power of the Lord pursue you in the name of the Lord. I put a hedge of the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Spirit around us that trouble will not locate us anything. It is only the blessing that brings wealth that will locate us. Blessed be God. I said, blessed be God. I said, blessed be God in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to lift up your hand to God and be right to look in prayer and say, I cancel the ministry of the troublers. Uh, yeah, I cancel the ministry of troublers that I try to bring it into my life. I cancel the ministry of the troublers because the blessing of the Lord brings wealth with no trouble whatsoever in my life with no trouble whatsoever in the name of the Lord Jesus. I release this declaration over your life. I cancel the ministry of troublers in your life because it is only the blessing of the Lord that brings wealth that's your portion. And this wealth comes with no trouble, no trouble in any form, no trouble whatsoever, never again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Say amen and amen and amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. No more trouble, no more money trouble, no more financial, no more health troubles, no more financial troubles, no more family troubles. Glory to God. Because the blessing of the Lord brings wealth, he adds no trouble with it. To the God who daily loads us with benefit. Come on now. The benefit calls blessing. The benefit that comes in the way of boom, the blessing that comes like windfalls, like jets and giveaways, to him be glory. To him be adoration. We give him worship. He's worthy of our praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. And so um, it's interesting that this is the will of God concerning us, but we have not prayed aright. We want to thank God for today's inspired prayer. And that's why you must remain steadfast in prayer. I mean, we get to learn how to pray better and better by the day. Imagine by the end of the year where we'll be at. Glory to God. And as we close, I want to release the declaration of blessing upon your life. It is my assignment. Uh, the prophet Bilam says, how will I not bless what God has blessed? It is my duty to bless. I cannot do anything else. And so I lift up my hand in worship with thanksgiving. And I lift up my hand as a loving duty to you, the children of God. And I decree and I declare that God will turn things around to your advantage. Say amen. So that instead of you suffering a casting down, you will experience an inexplicable lifting up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I decree and I declare that God will reward your skills and all your hard work in bountiful ways. And the Lord God will give you good success in your business life. And so you will prosper. And so you will flourish. And so you will become known, honored, and celebrated and rewarded and you will you will enjoy all round success and you will begin to reign in life and so you will reign in life and enjoy life to the fullest to the glory of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you will become unstoppable in your progress whatever you lay your hands upon will to do will prosper 
as you pray to God, as you listen obediently to him, no evil shall befall you. No plague shall come near your dwelling. Whatever happened before, that was yesterday, that was then. In this second half of the year, it is going to be a new experience. You are being daily loaded with benefits of giveaways, benefits of, of largesse from the Lord. Uh, the, the blessing of the Lord begins to bring wealth into your household that you lack nothing good. Blessed be God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. And so with that, I want to just uh, inspire you to remember to share this uh, prayer uh, transmission and that you also share your testimony I mean, even whilst you're praying, I believe that somebody you've already received good news in your email or, or your text, that something you've been waiting for has been done, but way beyond even what you expected. And you want to share that testimony. And in the course of the week, you will not struggle. Say amen. You will never need to be a hustler. You are the child of God that is daily loaded with benefits. Hallelujah. And then you're so blessed. And this blessing brings wealth. And all this will manifest in the course of this week. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I'm going to ask you to be a good Christian and child of God. Spread the good news. Invite a few people to the next one. You can always share uh, the, the poster for, the, for this prayer meeting that has all the details with your friends and family. And one by one, as a shop, they'll be able to track the change in their lives are better to you. Knocking the door of their hearts and their life and their family changes for better and heaven will rejoice over you. Uh, God bless you. It is my joy to release you into a very profitable week and a very blessed week in Jesus' name. I love you. I got to go. Look forward to seeing you same time next week, but don't come alone. Come with your, come with your testimonies and come with those that you invited. Look forward to seeing you there. Well, you want to stay on and listen to the music that I have prepared for you that just settles everything in your heart and concretizes all that we prayed about this morning. And with that also, you have an opportunity to engage in greetings and uh, love notes with the brethren. You know, God loves us together and share your testimony in the Zoom, uh, in the chat section of whatever platform you're streaming live from. God bless you. I got to go. See you same time next week. Hallelujah. Your name Your name is a strong tower Jesus To you belong all power Jesus Whenever I call your name You make a way Your name is a strong tower Jesus In the name of Jesus, every knee, every knee must bow. When we pray in the name of Jesus, every knee, every knee must bow. When we pray in the name of Jesus, every knee. Every knee must bow When we pray in the name of Jesus Every knee, every knee must bow hey, Your name is a strong tower Jesus you belong
Oh, my.